Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and this is my precious yarnery. Okay, I just wanted to go over a few things. During, especially during the summer and being so hot around here, I have to go outside and change my animal's water more than once a day. Usually I only do it once a day because it's not hot. Well, it's getting hot, so I like to change it I guess three or four times a day. Yeah, it depends how hot it gets. And especially the duck's water. They're gross. <laughs> There's no getting around it. They're just gross. So I just got back in and I can only be outside for a certain amount of time this time of year because I can't overheat. We all know like the epilepsy and things, you know. So I don't want anything to happen. So yeah, I videos may be a little late. I'm going to try and get a few done in one day or again when I used to do that but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes. And summer I've been finding I've been really busy this summer with the animals. I want to spend time with the animals. I have chicks, baby chicks that I you know I got to clean them all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> I animals are dirty <laughs> and it's okay it doesn't gross me out it's just I just like to keep them clean it, it's important I don't want them getting sick so I like to keep them clean so I was just out um I don't let my oh, my full-grown chickens free range until about well it's 20 after 11 right now because they have decided they want to lay their eggs in with the goats. And no, I'm not climbing underneath all that crap. <laughs> Listen, it's not appropriate. Lay eggs where you're supposed to. <laughs> so we had quite the chat. So I leave them in in the morning and then let them out in the afternoon. I can't let my ducks out because my chickens get... Oh, they're not big enough yet. But they're they're outside. They have their own pen, their own, um, yeah. And hopefully I'll be able to do a video soon on them, on all my animals again. Okay, so now that we got that. So don't worry, I'm here. The, it's summertime and we had the weekend. Okay, so today's Monday. We had a lot of flash flooding around here on Friday. Like it was, some places are really bad. There's some really bad sinkholes around me. Um, my land is good. Um, thank goodness. Like, we're awfully blessed for that. But there's a lot. There's, yeah. So the rain on Friday was crazy. I didn't realize it was that bad until I went out Saturday. And we, and Tom was showing me all the damage to the roads and the big like sinkholes. I can't, I, I, I've never seen anything like it in my life. But anyways, it's, it's, it's going to be fixed. Yeah. But we were, we were awfully blessed. So Saturday we went out and we went for the drive with, um, we're like with Tom and for his birthday. I didn't find any, any yarn shops. We didn't go to one yarn shop. We went to Walmart in Yarmouth. They had no new yarn. They had the lollipop yarn and that was it. <laughs> That's okay. I, what else? That was it. We just drove and you know, spent time together, just peaceful, relaxing. We love seeing it going down the back roads. So that's what we did. And we had a fabulous time. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is the dress I made. I was excited about it. I loved it. I love the stitch. Don't love the dress. And I will show you why. My stitches, I have the exact same stitches from when I started from, from up here. It's, I don't know what, I think it's the stitch. I don't like the stitch. And I know it looks, wait until I show you the back. The front looks great. Wait until I show you the back. But I'm going to use the same yarn, but I'm going to change it out. I have, I'm going to see, 
I like to show you my fails too, because this is a big fail. Mm hmm. I I don't I don't like this. <laughs> so if I don't like something, I'm not putting it out, and that's just that's just the way I am. And so I'm going to work on it again. I'm actually working on something else right now. I've been working on it for days, but like I said, I haven't really been home and going out side to do everything I need to do out there the animals have to come first and I'm just loving it guys I am I'm loving it I just wish it wasn't so stinking hot right now this week is supposed to be bad so there won't be uh yeah I gotta be careful and I need to get back in the dyeing room uh, listen I dyed I dyed that yarn and I'm gonna show you in my next video but first I've been talking about this I was gonna show you it the front looks amazing what is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so I thought it like this is what I intended it to be like, all the way around. And I mean, down here is so small. I mean, it does stretch, but I was like, what is this? As soon as I changed my stitch, it went like this. And I was just like, that's, I don't like it. Yeah, granted, most people are... I mean, it would work out for most people. People are bigger in the chest area, I guess, but I don't like it. So I used some cotton yarn from, oh, the, the yarn I got is right here. It's just a different color. This is the color I did the little sweater with. Um, Sultan Solid, it's 100% cotton, 100 grams, 400 meters. It's 100% cotton. Mm hmm three millimeter knitting needle four millimeter hook I think I used a five see I did this a long time ago so I don't quite remember everything I I did the tutorial I have it I don't have it all edited but I did the tutorial but I don't if I don't like it I'm not putting it out there and that's just the way I am and I hope these guys understand I will work it out to another dress because I really want to do a dress or like a bathing suit cover that's my whole idea for this was my bathing suit cover mm -hmm. what are you gonna do not everything is gonna work out it really is and it's okay it's okay to have fails it's okay um I didn't realize it was this bad until I put it on the mannequin I thought it looked great off the mannequin and then I put it on. I'm like, this is not, this is nothing what I wanted. It doesn't look what I like. It does, it's not what I like. So it's just, that's just the way it is. I love the stitch I did, but it's, it's not meant for this. I did the wobble stitch. And it looks amazing. It's cute. It um, looks lacy, but it's not for something like this. It in my opinion, what I made now, somebody else could come along and do something completely different and it'd be beautiful with the same stitch. But what I did, I didn't like. So I hope you guys understand. It's going to be a little bit longer till you get. And I, I was wanted this out a long time ago because I mean, what is it? It's June. No, it's July. <laughs> We don't have much of the summer left, so hmm, it might have to wait till next year, and that's fine too. I don't know what I've been doing. I've been doing sweaters and working with acrylic. That's not usually me at this time of year. Usually, but when something hits me that I want to make, I just go and make it. And yeah. So, I, guys, I just really wanted you to see this. I talked about this dress for so long, and then I put it on, and then I just, I'm just not happy with it. But I need you to see the fails. Like, it's, you know, it's not really a fail. It's, to me, it's like a learning experience, too. I've learned from doing this dress. I learned what not to do. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I've learned what not to do, and I'm very, and it's okay. I'll figure out something else to do and I'll make a tutorial on it. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's Monday. Um, this will be late. I'm, I'm this is the only, uh, tomorrow I'll have another video out, but I don't know when. 
because I'm not, I'm not doing it today. I'm hot right now. And this, yeah, I'm just hot. I know exactly what I'm doing it on. I'm doing it on, um, because I have to get it sent out to Chantel. I promised her a cotton box. And, but I said to her, I'm going to be dyeing some linen, cotton linen. I want you to touch it, compare. I want you to give me your opinion. Give me your opinion on it. And that's my daughter. She's, uh, I can't even remember her name, her channel name. Oh my gosh. I will link her below. Um, isn't that awful? Like, so guys, don't get offended if I don't remember your names. Your, <laughs> I can't even remember my own daughters. And half the time I call her other names. Like, if I'm like calling her, some, you get excited and you go like, Bella or, yeah. <laughs> My mom and I are the same way when it comes. She'll, she'll go through all the grandkids' names before she'll get to the one she's talk, talking to. <laughs> So, I mean, it's hereditary. <laughs> so, anyways, I hope you all had a good weekend. I had a great weekend. Friday was a lot of rain. I didn't even realize it was that much rain. I didn't. It was. Or was it? No, it was Friday. And even like, um, oh, see, I'm just, I'm sweating. I'm going outside, getting all nervous. <laughs> um under the roads. I don't know what they call it. They, our pond was completely full. It ain't no more. I don't know what's with that pond, but it won't stay full. I, there's a lot of frogs over there and I love listening to them. It's like bullfrogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye everyone. Mm, maybe. Bye everyone.